Hello my friends, I honestly can't believe it's taken me this long to sit down and film this video for you because today we're going to be discussing probably my most used bag of all time. This is by far one of my favorite bags, not only from Hermes but in general. I adore this bag and I would never want to be without it, which is going to be my Hermes Fur bag. Today we're going to be discussing everything that there is to know about this underrated bag, which I did do a review on this a few years ago at this point, but I have been meaning to update you with some better mod shots, close-ups, and even more information. So if you have been toying with the idea of starting your RMS bag collection, or you've been looking for a more understated RMS bag, something that is not as often seen and talked about as their iconic Birkin, Kelly, and Constance bags, this video is for you because today you'll find out everything that there is to know about this incredible creation. We're going to be discussing the pros, the cons, the different sizes, and why I personally adore this bag. So if that sounds interesting to you, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and keep on watching. Even though the Her bag is definitely not one of Hermes' most popular bags, it's kind of one of those if you know, you know type of creations. It's still not easy to get from Hermes. In fact, it can be quite a challenge. I mean, what's easy to get at Hermes these days? But don't be surprised if you walk into Hermes asking for this bag and they won't have it immediately available for you. It is something that is very much worth the wait. In fact, this, which is the Herbeck 39, which is one of the larger sizes of the Herbeck, took me years to find. And the only reason I was able to get it in black on black is because I shopped with the same boutique for years. And at one point, the store director of the boutique asked me if there's anything that I wanted specifically from the podium event, which is Hermes's buying event. And I did ask if she could buy me a Herbeck, which she was kind enough to do so. And I think that is the only reason I was able to hunt it down in this color combination and in this size. So I just wanted to let you know that yes, it is not technically considered a quota bag. No, it is not nearly as popular as a Picatin, as a Lindy, as an Evelyn. It is still going to be challenging to find, obviously depending on the color and the size that you're looking for. But what do you have to know about the Herbag in general? So the current Herbags that you can find in stores is called the Herbag Zip, which is not the original Herbag. It is a design that has gone through several different reiterations. When they first launched, they were available in a ton of different sizes and shapes. You could actually buy them in little kits where you got the top of the bag, which is actually removable with different body parts, and you could make your bag smaller, bigger. You could turn a bag like this into a duffel bag or into a backpack, which was a really cool idea. Idea, but these days it is a lot more simple. The herbag only comes in a handful of different sizes. So the smallest herbag that you can find is technically the herbag backpack, which launched. I remember talking about it when it first launched. I want to say it launched maybe two years ago. It is a bag that I was offered, but I just prefer my original herbag, so I never ended up buying it. I think because it was quite narrow, it didn't look the most flattering on me, but there is a herbag backpack still available out there. Then you have the Herbag Zip 31, which is slightly smaller than this. I think you will really enjoy that if you like something along the lines of a Kelly 28, even a Kelly 25, if you like a smaller, more petite bag, the Herbeck 31 is going to be the perfect size for you. Even I could make the Herbeck 31 work. It's a bag that I carried at one point. The reason I opted for and I was hunting for the Herbeck 39 is because the Herbeck 31 at the time I carried it to work and it didn't fit a MacBook, a 13 inch MacBook. Well, it technically did fit, but you could only put it in the back horizontally and you wouldn't be able to fasten the bag. And living in New York, taking the subway on a daily basis, I just didn't want to have you know, $2,000 MacBook hanging out of my bag without it being properly fastened. So it took me a little while, but I ended up picking up the Herbeck 39 instead, which not only fits a 14 inch MacBook at this point, but it fits so much more than that. So this is the Herbeck 39 size, which is not by any means overwhelming. I mean, it is the perfect size for me personally, but even if you usually carry a smaller bag, I don't think this would be too big. And even if it is, it is something that you could use as a weekend bag. You could use it as a gym bag if you have a ton of things to carry around, but you don't want something super elongated and super overwhelming. This is an incredible bag to go for. 
and if you are looking for an even larger herb bag there are several different larger bags that RMS I mean RMS does play around with this design quite a lot they did have the herb bag cabin at one point they did have the herb bag carry-on so you can pick these bags up in size 50 in different proportions some of them are longer some of them are taller it just all depends on what they do for each season but there technically is a larger an even larger herd bag than mine which is in size 39 so you do have plenty of option it really comes down to what you're going to use your herd bag for what proportions you prefer if you love a larger bag if you like something like a kelly 35 or a birkin 35 upwards you're going to adore the herd bag 39 and if you like something more petite the Herbeck 31 you cannot go wrong with and as you can see these bags are just the perfect everyday bags because they are so easy they are so effortless they are beautifully made so they will add value to an outfit but they won't be too loud they won't scream and shout the brand name but if you know what it is it is something that you're going to be blown away by every single time and you can definitely dress it up or dress it down depending on how you style it i mean i've seen people carry these bags to the office as i did at one point but i have also seen people carry these to the beach and i have to tell you these bags never look out of place they look equally great it all depends on what color you pick them up in and the way you style them these are genuinely just some of the best bags out there but one thing that's never going to change regardless of the color and the size is the material used to make the herd bag so the body of the herd bag is always going to be some sort of a canvas so the one that i have here is the classic herd bag which is made of a really thick stiff hard wearing canvas called the officier canvas or some people also call it the military canvas which is an incredibly hard wearing thick hardy material even though it is a canvas bag it's not something that you have to worry about too much you can spill stuff on it i think i mentioned this in my original review that i actually had a milk tea a bubble tea explode in this bag at one point and it was dripping in milk tea all i had to do is take this bag apart drop the body of the bag off at the dry cleaner and as you can see it looks brand new and that happened years ago it still looks incredible so i've had this bag for I want to say four or five years and as i mentioned i use it a ton but it's it is still in incredible condition so don't let the fact that it's made of canvas put you off of buying this bag yes i understand that some people don't like spending this much money on a canvas bag but i actually think it is a pro that this is made of canvas because it makes the bag a lot more lightweight it is scratch resistant you don't have to worry about spilling or really marking this bag especially if you pick it up in a darker color because because it is something that can be cleaned really easily so the body of the bag is always going to be canvas and Hermes does play around with different types of canvas so they have things like the Viking canvas they sometimes do these in a different print or a different embroidery I personally am partial to the original Officio canvas just because I know how incredibly hard wearing it is and then the flap the handles and the strap because these bags come with a single top handle and the shoulder strap and these details are always going to be made of hunter leather which is similar to the canvas an extremely strong hardy and stiff leather which is a little bit uncomfortable to carry at the beginning but it softens up beautifully now one thing that you have to know about hunter leather is that it's extremely prone to scratches marks and wrinkles i mean this is not one of those leathers that will hide any sort of size of tear and wear which doesn't mean that it's going to fall apart or it's fragile by any means but it is something that is going to show age and use which i don't know why but it's never really bothered me when it came to this bag you guys know that i hate scratching any one of my bags and i'm not saying that i scratched this bag on purpose the first scratch must have hurt but after a while i just kind of got used to it and i had to realize that that's the name of the game when it comes to hunter leather so if you're someone who doesn't who cannot bear the thought of scratches and marks being visible on their bags this leather is not going to be for you but personally i do think that it goes perfectly with not only the canvas body but with the sort of user experience of the bag so you do have a shoulder strap all her bags feature a shoulder strap except the new backpack and by the way this is completely removable because the her bag is one of those bags that you can actually take apart so you do have this bar on top which kind of holds the whole thing together which if I show you here, you can actually screw undone 
here this comes out and if you pull out this bar you can completely take this bag apart so if you don't like the single top handle you can take off the top handle if you don't like the shoulder strap you can take off the shoulder strap and as i mentioned if something happens to the body of the bag you can actually either take it back to rms and have them dry clean it for you which is going to set you back a few hundred dollars or you can take it to your local dry cleaner make sure that you do some research and you only go to someone that you can trust but you can have the body of the bag dry cleaned and i wouldn't take the leather to a regular dry cleaner if there is something that needs to be fixed in the leather I would take it back to RMS, but if you just mark the body of the bag, it is something that in theory can be cleaned quite easily, purely because the body is completely, it can be taken apart into little pieces. So I think it is a really, really cleverly designed bag. You do have the shoulder strap, which isn't super long. I mean, I can put this back crossbody if I need to, but it isn't the most comfortable and it isn't the most flattering, but as a shoulder bag, it works perfectly. And then you also have the handle, which personally I can sort of squeeze onto my arm, but it's definitely not comfortable. Maybe if you have smaller hands and smaller arms, it's something that you can carry in the group of your arm. Personally, I couldn't, but it's not something that really bothers me because I do have the luxury of the shoulder strap and then what else can i tell you what's on the outside of the back so on the front you have a closure which a lot of people compare to the twist closure of the cali bag just because you also have two sangles on the her bag you will find something called the cludesa closure which you can easily sort of pull the sangles through and then the bag opens with a flap like this i have to be honest with you one of the cons that a lot of people don't love about this bag is that it is not the easiest to get in and out of if you go through all these steps because there is actually i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it but there is a tiny little hook on the bottom of the clue sac closure which makes sure that the flap stays intact even if you don't want to use the sangle so i never go through all these different stages when i want to open and close my bag the way i personally do it is i will pull the just this part through the clue de sac closure and i will secure one of the sangles through that which means that the back cannot open but it makes it a lot easier for me to go in and out of this bag and if you're looking for a really safe bag you're going to love this and you're going to love the fact that you can close it properly but you don't necessarily have to you can obviously carry it completely undone which some people do it's not going to spill out because there is quite a bit of structure to the body of the bag but this is my little tip if you don't like bags that are a hassle to get in and out of if you don't live in a really crowded area if you mainly drive and you don't have to always secure your bag you can just put this through the clue de sac closure and it won't open that easily because there's a little hook that secures it but if you need a little bit more peace of mind you can just take one or both of the sangles and weave them through the clue de sac closure which will make sure that there's no way this bag can come undone so it is just a really cleverly designed bag and if you actually want to fully secure the bag if you want to close it all the way there is a lock that you get with this the exact same lock that you get with your kelly and birkin bags and you can actually let me show you you can so you would close the flap first if you wanted to close it all the way and as you can see here, one of them actually features a tiny little hole, which was meant for the lock. So if you wanted to close it, you could secure the lock that comes with the bag, put it on here. So there is just simply no way of opening this bag once that lock has been secured. And if you always want to have the lock with you, you can actually put the lock on the back of the bag here. There is a little sort of ring that you can put the lock on. I did at one point, and because of that, there is now this smiley face like mark on the back of it because as I carried this bag and the lock was going back and forth, it left this semicircle on the back of the bag, which I mean, it's not the end of the world, but because of that and because of the fact that I have never once put the lock on the front of the bag, I ended up taking it off. But if you want to have the lock with you at all times, you can actually keep it here. And then there's a little clochette, which I can show you. I'm not sure why I'm not showing it to you, but there is also a little clochette that you get with your her bag, which is made of the same hunter leather as the flat part. You do get the clochette with the keys in here. And then as I mentioned, you also get the lock, which you can keep 
on the back of the bag right here and if you wanted to lock your bag it would go right here to the front i have to be honest with you i've seen a lot of people carry her bags and i have never seen a single person ever put the lock on the front of the bag but i mean if you really want to you always have the option to do that. And then actually moving on to the back of the bag, you do have a large zip compartment just because I guess Hermes realized that it is not the easiest bag to go in and out of. And they added this zip compartment to the back, I think back in 2009. And that's why these are called the her bag zip because you do get this really large, generous pocket on the back, which runs almost the entire back of the bag so it's pretty much as big as the length of your bag and it fits a ton you do have a zipper here which makes it a lot more easy for you to carry your bag so if you need easy access to your phone a couple of cards if you live in the city and you take public transport you can put all those essentials into this back pocket which are still going to be safe because you do have a zip but you're going to have much easier access to that. Now that we have discussed everything that there is to know about the exterior of the bag, let's move on into the bag. So let me open the sangles, pull the bag open. See, so as you guys can see, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, I guess if you're in a rush or if you're waiting in line to pay for something and you don't want to hold up the line behind you, yes, it can be a little bit of a hassle to open and close this bag. But if you only close the sort of the body of the bag if you only pull that through the clothes side closure and you use one sangle it is going to be pretty easy and as i mentioned you do have the pocket on the back which makes your life a lot easier but then moving on to the bag it is basically just a bottomless pit i mean there's nothing you could not fit into this bag i have traveled with this on several occasions as i mentioned i use this as a bag that i took to the office on a daily basis for years it fit my laptop perfectly it even fit my gym shoes and a change of clothes it fits a ton and obviously you can go for a larger size if you want to use it as a duffel or as a weekender bag but these bags fit so much yet they're really lightweight because they are made of canvas there are no pockets or anything on the inside except this pouch which our mess claims is removable and i mean i guess you could force it to come out of the bag but it is attached with this leather strap which trust me i have tried to take this out of the bag i did at one point i think when i had it dry clean and it wasn't the easiest to take out but it was even more difficult to put back in because there is this weird attachment that keeps it intact it is just a weird thing so technically it is remo removable but it's not the easiest thing but you do get this pouch which always matches the body of the bag perfectly so if you want to carry your bag completely open if you cannot be bothered to constantly open and close this bag there is this little zip pouch where you can put your more private things that you don't want people to have not only access to but if you don't want things to accidentally fall out or people to see if your bag is completely undone this is something that i think you will very much enjoy i have to be honest i rarely if ever use it i only really use this to carry my passport when i'm traveling but other than that it is usually completely empty but you could put things like receipts your wallet your card holder or even the little clochette in here if you always want to know where it is and if you always want to keep it on you this would be a great place to keep it this bag does not come with a raincoat which i mean there's really no need for it because i have been completely soaked carrying this bag and i doubt anyone could tell i mean i certainly cannot and i am looking at this bag a lot closer than anyone ever would and there are genuinely no signs of there are no marks there are no signs of water damage it still looks incredible so you really don't have to worry about having a raincoat with you it is just an amazing workhorse bag i think that's the best way of putting it now one thing that you might not love about the body of the bag i mean i guess it all depends on what you're looking for but it is not the easiest bag to organize because there are no compartments there are no pockets on the inside other than that little pouch that I just showed you. So sometimes what I will do is I will put my 7RP insert, the one that's made for the Birkin 35, which I do have in different colors, in my Herbeck 39, which believe it or not fits perfectly and it makes it a lot easier for me to organize this bag and keep it tidy but it's not a necessity but if you do have let's say a Birkin 35 and a Herbeck 39 just keep in mind that those inserts are 
interchangeable so you could use them in both of your bags i don't think in fact i'm sure it's not something that 7rp recommends but do give it a try if you already have some inserts for your birkin or kelly bags you could always try to see if they fit into your her bag because they do make your life a lot easier and you can buy inserts from other brands specifically made for a her bag but i never really felt the need for it so i'm just trying to think what else i can tell you but obviously that is one con that it's not the easiest to organize what other cons are there that we haven't discussed i mean i guess we talked about it plenty but obviously it's not the easiest to get in and out of it doesn't make too much of a bold statement it's more of an understated bag the leather is prone to scratches and marks and it is a canvas bag at the end of the day which i completely understand is not everyone's cup of tea personally i've never had any issues justifying spending a decent amount of money on a canvas bag because i understand that it comes with its own set of pros it is lightweight it is scratch resistant it's not something that you have to worry about too much and if you pick it up in a darker color it really is going to be the easiest thing for you to deal with now if you have the hair bag in a lighter color or if you're looking to pick it up in a lighter color because the body of the bag is made of canvas you do have to be careful with any sort of color transfer because if you get for example your jeans to bleed onto this i don't think it's something that hermes or even the best dry cleaner would be able to fix for you i can't believe i almost forgot but we did talk about it the flap and the top part of the bag is prone to scratches and marks which i want you to be aware of because it is a lot of money to spend on a bag but Trust me, it's not the end of the world. Just because it is a little bit more delicate on the surface doesn't mean that the integrity of the leather can be affected. It's not a leather that you ever have to worry about because it is an extremely strong and hardy leather. And I feel like at this point in this video, it is pretty clear that I adore this bag, but we can sum up some of the pros really quick. So I think the biggest pro of this bag is that it's lightweight. It fits a ton. It is understated, it is not in your face, yet it's incredibly effortlessly elegant. I think that's the best way of putting it. You do have the option of a shoulder strap, which is removable, as well as the single top handle. And it is so incredibly easy to look after and clean, and it just genuinely goes with anything and everything. So I would say that if you're someone who has been looking for a beautifully crafted bag, but something that is really effortless, something that is understated, a bag that you can use on a daily basis, whether you're traveling or going to the gym, the her bag is something that you cannot go wrong with. It is genuinely just one of the most user-friendly bags out there. As long as you get used to the going in and out of the bag process or you use some of my tips, it is genuinely one of those bags that you will just door using now is this bag for everyone i would say that if you like a more elevated more sophisticated bag if you like something that makes a bold statement or just simply a leather bag you're not going to enjoy this if you're looking for something that is not quite as casual and as relaxed as a her bag obviously this is not something that you will enjoy and if you have a hard time justifying spending money on a canvas bag perhaps look into getting this bag pre-loved which sometimes you can find these at a pretty decent price on the pre-loved market i will try to have them linked down below for you but just because they don't make too much of these honestly there isn't that much of a price difference between getting this bag in store and on the pre-loved market but i would say that if you're looking for an understated rms bag something that you can carry on a daily basis and it's not nearly as finicky or as delicate or as you have to think about it quite as much as a Birkin or a Kelly. Not that this bag is comparable. I think a lot of people compare this to the Kelly bag, even though I believe that these this would add a completely different facet to your collection. So it doesn't really matter whether you have or you don't have a Kelly bag. I don't think that these two designs are interchangeable. But if you do love a Kelly bag, it is quite likely that you're also going to enjoy this bag. And if you enjoy this bag, it is quite likely that you're going to like the Kelly bag too just because of the top handle the way you go in and out of the bag and the shoulder strap but I think because it's made of canvas because it doesn't have that really expensive looking twist closure it will add a much more almost sporty and casual facet to your collection so I don't think that the designs are interchangeable but if you like one it's likely that you'll like the other too 
but going back to comparing these to other MS bags, I think it is one of those pieces that is quite unique and quite rare. There aren't too many bags out there that will do something quite like this for you and for your collection. And I personally can only recommend it. To me, it is one of the most perfect bags. And as I mentioned, I do have it in black on black, but it does come in a ton of different colors. In fact, more often than not, you'll find a her bag with the body being in one color and the flap being in a completely different but complementary color. So it's something that you can play around with and have fun with. It's not overly expensive. I mean, it is still a few thousand dollars depending on which size you pick it up in, but I think it is a really good way to add some playfulness to your collection. But this actually completes my in-depth review on the Hermes back for today. I feel like there really isn't a single inch on this bag that we didn't talk about but if there is if you have any questions please do leave them in the comment section for me and if you do own the her bag I cannot wait to hear what you think please don't hold back and share your insights with us and I really appreciate you being here and watching if you enjoy this make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so yet and I hope to see you back here with a new video really really soon.